And welcome everybody to Nothing But Ramblings. You're joining me for a bit of a fish. The episode's a little bit later this week. Um, I will... It's one of those things, right? I, I, I complain about my life and it sounds like I'm just being stupid, repetitive all the time. And this is how it feels for me. It's not I'm telling you how you feel and, and how, you, how it actually is. But like I have these days, I go to do stuff and then I get these days where everything just goes wrong like not just a little bit but everything goes wrong and you know i pull myself away from just about everything um i decide that i'm not gonna do things anymore and i really just get really upset with with a lot of stuff and it just becomes a bit of a um you know woe is me crying the victim about you know my life is terrible but you know i know there's so many other people out there but just um it's it's i feel like i just go on and on and on and on and i don't really that's another gold sega by the way um i haven't caught of these things yet and i just did a practice for and i got a gold one uh and now we've just got a second gold one so um starting the, the episode fairly well but um no honestly i i feel like i i go on and, and it's, it's I keep on wanting to talk about other things and then I get to these episodes and it's just one thing after another, after another, after another. Um, and yeah, it just feels like I, like today was a really bad day. Um, I, I'll, I'll explain why and hopefully it makes sense to you where I'm coming from. Um, I won't go into too many details because there are some things there that I don't want people knowing about and and in respect to other people. Um, and that's a thing. So um, I've had today off for a while. Um, for uh, this whole week, I'm, I'm supposed to not be at the shed very much at the moment. Um, my wife is... Uh, medical procedure is getting done today. So... Um, She's currently at the hospital. Uh, it's nothing to worry about. There's no issue. Got another gold one. Three in a row. Um, it's, a, it's a medical thing. It, it's fine. We've known about it. It's a choice. Um, and she's all fine. There's no issues there, okay? so um, But it's a matter of, you know, the stress of that leading up to this day and then it happening and then um, wake up in the morning to... Uh, one of my drivers has had a family emergency and they can't make it in today. So at that stage, um, all I know is it's a family emergency. That's that's all I can go into it and um, I don't know any further. I won't go into it any further. I've found out what it was since, but um, and it's fair enough to completely understand. But that's how the, the morning started. So we got that. Um, uh, the person who, who hasn't turned up for for a while now once again, vomiting near a, near a, um, can't can't really be away from the house, so that that person's not working either. So we're two down plus me, um, and then we go into um, a uh, we, we we go okay. Like considering we're three down out of a team of like eleven, um, we go really well, and you know it's it's. Woe is me, like I said, today of all days it happens. We've been really good otherwise. Um, you know, dropped my wife off, heading home, starting to do some content, starting to do some other things I'm trying to do to um, get the finances for the business because, um, you know, we're going to run out of money in, in two weeks' time. So I need cash, but no one will give me cash because Equifax um, have stuffed up my credit rating. So. You know, I everyone just goes, no, sorry, we can't give you cash. I literally need this cash for 10 days. Um, uh, it's, it's all money that's owed to me that I will be getting back on that day, and it's sort of just frustrating that I, I've got a shortfall. I, I just need to get over this, get over, get over that little... Um, those couple of days, that's all I really need, um, and there's no other way around it. So trying to organise that, and then I get a phone call. One of my um, drivers has had a personal thing like a serious personal thing, you know, family member passing away kind of thing. So, you know, 
I'm then feeling bad for these other people. Um, I'm feeling bad for my wife who's, you know, having surgery. I'm feeling bad for just about everything. It's, it's, and, and trying to then work out, okay, tomorrow we're short another driver I, that already know about. So I'm trying to then get on top of, will we even have enough drivers to, to even go close to, to fulfilling our contract tomorrow, let alone today. So tomorrow becomes a huge issue. I can't go in. I've got to, um, I've got to deal with kids and then go see my wife um, and spend time with her to make sure she's going okay. So, you know, we're, we're fighting through that and um, I don't know what everyone's really at and all I can do is sort of, you know, reach out to people, ask where they're at and, and that kind of stuff. And, you know, at that point was my lowest point of the day. Um, it's like we're just not going to... We're not going to get this done. We're, you know, the business is in trouble. Um, I'm getting people telling me that they, they can't give me fun because of the Equifax thing. Uh, then Equifax sends me an email to say, hey, we're short staff, so that 30-day period we told you would be done by, uh, I know we're at 24, but we're going to have to extend another 21 days, so another three weeks, which puts me outside of the window where I need the money. So if they had have come through with the deal fix the thing i could have got finance right in the 11th hour and, and got across the line but um no they've extended it so that's not an option anymore so i'm slowly having all my options disappear on that front um i'm, I'm you know not fulfilling my contract um for work um i've got people that i'm just feeling horrible for because horrible things are happening to them and I get to the end of the day, I've got to drop my, take my kids to the hospital to see my wife. She's only just come out. She's groggy, looks in pain, is in pain, all that kind of stuff. And, um, you know, my child is really struggling with that. So, um, you know, the, she needed to see him. I needed to see her. I didn't have anyone else to look after him, so they came with us. But um, in hindsight, look, he was going to be upset anyway, but... Uh, he was really upset and been upset most of the night um, after seeing his mother like that. So once again, I'm feeling <laughs> sorry for another person. Like it's just I'm taking it all on, and I sh I know I shouldn't, but gee, it's tough when your child is upset and your wife is in pain, and then you know people that you work with all the day are, are in having some of the potentially the worst days of their lives, and I'm sitting here going, gee, it's horrible to be me. Um, so then there's that guilt on the back of it as well. And, you know, it's just, I got home, we had to rush around doing a whole heap of stuff. We finally sat down at like seven o'clock. Kids are exhausted. They finally go to bed at 7.30 and I'm sitting here going, what do I do? I'm supposed to be racing tonight. I'm trying to get better at supercars. If I just pull out of this, there's, there's a couple of things, um, you know, I won't have a chance to sort of have an unrestricted race uh, where I'm not worrying about time because I don't have to go to bed because I'm sleeping in tomorrow because I'm taking the kids to work and not going to work. I'm taking the kids to school not going to work. Um, you know, there's there's no pressure of having to, you know, feeling bad about not spending time with my wife. So it's I'm, I'm actually fairly free to stream, which is something that I don't get very often. And, um, you know, I jump on feeling not good like not good at all done no practice for this race in a car that's the hardest car on ice i racing to even drive let alone you know without any practice at my skill level and um we sit there and have a race get to chat with people have some fun take my mind off it and we have a really good night so what you've got me with now is way different to what you would have had me if I had recorded this video this afternoon like I was planning to. So, um, yeah, I, like I said, it's just I want to be doing other content. Like I want to be talking about things and actually, you know, trying to, you know, talk about methods and quotes and all kinds of different things that I've learned over the time to deal with stuff like this. But it seems like every time I go to, something else happens. And not something else, like, I... Uh, anyway, it, it's my life at the moment. Um, it's the whole thing of, you know, the 
the storm. I keep on getting like uh, I'm definitely dealing with stuff way better than I used to. I'm definitely a stronger person. I'm standing up for myself in many situations where I wouldn't used to because I'm just over it. But that's something I've learned to stick up for myself um, through this, uh, especially last Friday. I, I stuck up my, for myself pretty big. And uh, I oh, know Wednesday, whatever it was, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I, I really stuck up for myself. Um, communicating with people more because of this, because I'm just over avoiding problems. And, and you know, even today it was a matter of um, maybe I just ignore the problem and worry about it tomorrow or the next day or the next day. Like the mow, even mowing the lawn, like that's been fairly difficult as well uh, to, to get the, the motivation to even go do that. But hey, we did that today as well. I've got a lot done today. Um, I've got some good videos or shorts to release. I've worked out a far more um, streamlined way to create content now. Uh, you've, if you're watching this video, uh, you might see our YouTube and Facebook streams are now vertical instead of the old horizontal, which is making a massive difference in numbers. Uh, it's like not even close uh, with streams before now like it's a massive change it's a, got a massive win um for the channels and what it does is allows me to not only stream in both horizontal and vertical it gives me that outlet to both create videos for youtube because they're not getting the horizontal version that the proper video version of races anymore i can make the um horizontal versions and make them a video to release uh on youtube from twitch so that's a huge advantage i can then create the facebook i can download the facebook and the, the youtube vertical stream and i can chop them up and and release them to all the vertical places as shorts and and tiktoks and stuff like that so that has really made a big difference and if i'm then cutting them and putting them up onto tiktok in a certain way I've got the ability to edit them massively uh, and add subtitles now, add, you know, emotes, add different, uh, like, uh, text and graphics and stuff on top. I can do all that, then download them and put them onto Facebook and uh, YouTube. Um, we've decided, oh, I've found that um, Reels are really no good at the moment um, on Facebook, so I'm ignoring that and just putting the video straight up, and it's made a huge difference there. Like the numbers are going really well. Like the streaming um, is doing really well. Uh, the streaming, the, the videos, all the content is going really well. So thank you everyone who's been helping out and watching that and, and commenting. Commenting and liking is the biggest thing I can ask you to do. Uh, if you haven't followed, like, all that kind of stuff, then that, that's the other big thing. But um, the only thing that's really missing now is this longer form horizontal content. Um, for YouTube is not quite doing what it should be doing or what I'd like it to be doing. But hey, we're going to persist on with it. Build a back catalogue so when people decide to finally come over uh, and, and, and and devour this content, there'll be plenty for them to go back to and that, that'll bump the numbers up as they go through the back catalogue and stuff. So um, it's just a matter of continuing to get better, which is the key that I'm finding at the moment. Uh, continually doing it, I'm finding... Not shortcuts but easier ways to, to streamline the content i'm finding all that now as we go along uh even this like i'm i'm doing this fishing uh the angler you know in a different location today um i'm as you can see i haven't even talked about me catching fish because i'm doing it a lot better now um i'm actually actively catching fish without even thinking about it and um it's not a problem so i'm giving you better content i believe anyway um like I said, it gives me something to do, gives you something to look at. Um, uh, I think it's fairly solid content anyway, um, but that's because I've been playing this actual game in in the off time and learning how to learning its its different mechanics and getting better at it. Um, if you had have told me, I would have caught probably ten gold fish during this stream. I would have laughed at you. Um, but yeah, I have, and uh, I want to turn this kind of stuff into, I did it with the, 
Oh, no bait attached. I've run out of bait. Oh, that's the end of that. Um, so let's put on these light worms. Um, yeah, so I guess the other side of this, we might not catch any fish from here on out because I don't know what this bait will do in this water. But um, yeah, it's, it's a matter of the content's getting better. Uh, I'm getting more enjoyment out of doing it i'm finding better ways to do it so i'm actually sitting there with my wife now uh while she's on the laptop doing work uh or on a phone de-stressing after the day watching tv with her uh i'm sitting there editing content on my laptop now so uh because it's so easy because it's so the ability to do stuff and i'm getting stuff uh lined up now for, for multiple days so we're, we're dropping two or three shorts a day now which is um something i, I never thought i would get to this make it that simple to do um the other thing is I, i'm toying around with making highlight packages of, of races now as well because it's fairly easy to do that now especially when i'm doing horizontal stuff to twitch and i can sit there and actually um clip it download the clips and then just join them together with a few transitions and stuff like that so um yeah the content's going really well and uh, thank you all, and I'm glad that I'm I'm doing it. Um, so, the, the the let's play I did with golf was a was a big one. Um, I want to start doing stuff like that. Like I said, it's giving me it's extra content to put out there, but it's also an a, a, an ability for me to actually get better at stuff and and actually enjoy, to take some enjoyment out of it rather than just talking to you guys as well. So, um, we are gonna wrap it up there because it is 10:30 at night and. I really do need to get some sleep and this bait is not working because I haven't um haven't really checked it out um but I was yeah look thank you for watching thank you for subscribing thank you for following thank you for all that kind of stuff if you can share stuff that would be even better comment that's what I really want and I really need is comments on everything so we get that engagement up um I'm happy to talk to you guys that way as well uh, join the live streams that's always good fun and um like i said thank you for everything and hopefully i'll just be able to tell you a story next time i come on that's what i want to do i just want to tell a story relate it to to my life at the moment or something in the past give you something to think about <clears throat> but these days just keep on i didn't even talk about my uncle my uncle's supposed to have surgery today for his melanoma but it turns out he was seeing a doctor's appointment <clears throat> a specialist to, to work out what they're going to do They've got a plan. They think they can do it, and it's going to be a fairly major operation, but it's not for another two weeks. So there's that as well today. Hmm, cool. But um, look, have a great day all, and I hope you have a good week, and we'll talk to you again uh, when I go play some golf on Saturday. Thanks, guys.